What's going on RVers? Joel here at Beerings RV Center bringing to you a 2022 model. This is the KZ Sportsman SE 231 FKKSE. It's a front kitchen floor plan that will sleep three people because this is optioned um, with a standard jackknife sofa with folding armrest. Now I really love the new 2022 KZ Sportsman SE. I already love the manufacturer and this product. We've carried it for a long, long time here at Beerinks, but uh, they really did a great job with interior two-tone wood cabinetry and some of the great features. Front, you can see it has that rolled aluminum um, smooth profile. They went with a three-tone exterior metal, and this is obviously wood construction. And then in the front there, you still do have your rolled diamond plated front to protect it from any rock chips. And right behind the two 20 pound LP tanks is your battery disconnect switch. And on the flat front platform, we do include here at the dealership, a tow bolt battery with case. So with this being a front kitchen, they put the furnace and hot water heater right there in the front. And in the back will be your pass through storage, fully enclosed looks very nice. Um, they went with the aluminum rims versus the black steel, which is very, very nice. Makes this unit look very sharp. Big power awning. Basically the whole length of the outside here is covered by the awning. They have the lighted up backlit exterior speakers. And they went away from the full LED light and just see the outdoor LED light there versus the full length. Um, I'm kind of indifferent about that change. I know the big LED lights attract a lot of bugs at night and that light right there will keep your campsite um, very visible at night. Of course, this floor plan does come with your outdoor kitchen and it's gonna be that uh, griddle and mini refrigerator for condiments, beverages. It's a very nice feature to have right by the door, easy to load and unload. And then they did add on the 2022 the climate package. So that was always a feature on the LE line of the Sportsman, but this year, the 2022 SC line also has the climate package. It's part of their 50th year anniversary package. That also comes with um, the decal there, the climate package, the RV airflow system, which is uh, more efficient, cools down quicker, your AC on the inside. On the off door side where you have your slide out, you'll see the other side of your pass through storage, your spare tire, your power hookup is right here in the very, very back. And that will be a 30 amp power supply. City water connection, fresh water tank fill. And then this does have your grain black tank right in front of the, the tires here. You have a 64 gallon gray water tank and a 32 black water tank. You have a higher capacity for gray water because you do have the second gray tank up in the front of the slide out. And that will be the tank that handles your kitchen area. And also right by the front, there's gonna be your outdoor shower with pulled out faucet, hot and cold water. Now we don't option it this way, but you can certainly add on a slide topper if you like to this camper, the seamless slide out topper. I do like them, keeps off debris from getting on that slide and have you need to get up there and clean it off. But that's the Sportsman exterior, the new SC 231 FK KSC. Now let's head on inside. Here we are, stepped inside this gorgeous, newly redesigned interior, the 231 FK KSE front kitchen, and that's what we're looking at here. The front of this travel trailer is the front kitchen with a herringbone backsplash, lighted light up in there. This unfortunately does not have the front windshield, which is really only on the fiberglass built units. But with that light up there, it is still very nice, bright. You can see what you're doing down there because there is a ton of countertop space for you to work on, for you to put all your appliances, prep. All that space back there with two different outlets. Newly added on this here is the front cabinets here. On the 21s, 
you had the cabinets on either side, but not in the dead center. So that's a brand new added upgrade there is more cabinetry um, versus a shelf. And let's pop over here, take out this nice little glass inlet there, but you have a plenty of space in here for dishes. That was lacking in the older model, but been corrected, a lot more cabinets in this model here. So with the addition of those cabinets above the sink, which is just a single bowl sink with a flush mount sink cover, but that is your space in there. You have a ton of storage beneath. You have the three large drawers and underneath under the counter storage. Look at all that space there. One side will be great for a trash can, other side pots and pans. And then again, you have these fold extension, three drawers there for even more storage. As you pivot to your uh, appliance area, you have your free, free on um, three burner cooktop with oven and a nice cabinet right next to that, great for pans. And then above that will be your vent fan with light and microwave. And directly next to that, across from your jackknife sofa is gonna be your entertainment center area with some nice big windows, your Bluetooth soundbar and storage beneath that as well. And it's a deep cabinet there. And all the windows will have those blackout pull down shades as well. Next to the entry door is gonna be a pantry. They did take the linen closet out of the bathroom to add this on into the kitchen area, which I actually prefer. It's very handy at all. You can remove or add a door to this wall here, which is right in the bathroom and kind of make it a joint usage space. You got that accent wall with some hooks for jackets, sweatshirts, hats, um, umbrellas, you name it. And then of course we have your foldable removable table along with your jackknife sofa with built-in armrest and a huge back window. So let's uh, walk down the hallway, which is right there to that bathroom and bedroom. Open it up. So first thing first is they widen the countertop space here in the bathroom. It used to be half that size. So you get a bigger under sink cabinet, bigger sink itself. No, you still only have a mirror versus the medicine cabinet, but it actually is a framed up mirror versus piece of glass mounted on the wall. That's a nice change. Um, and then you have, again, towel hooks back here. But this is the wall I was talking about where you could actually just cut it out, frame it out, and have access to one of those um, shelves in that kitchen pantry. Foot flush toilet, radius glass shower, doors open up, and they went back to a white shower surround versus um, the marble looking shower surround. You got some nice shelves in here for your soaps and shampoos, and of course your shower head. Moving into the bedroom in the rear of this travel trailer is you have your RV Queen mattress, wardrobe on both sides, and a huge shelf up there. I'm thinking great for baskets of clothing and other items you have with you. Three windows total in this bedroom, so a lot of natural light with those blackout shades as well. And then versus having cutouts behind the wardrobes, what they did on this Sportsman SC is have shelves. One side will have your 110 outlet, other side will have your USB port. And there is gonna be storage under the bed as well. Comes with the same comforter as last year's model, but they did do, again, they brought the two-tone cabinetry into the bedroom as well, which is really the theme of this year's models. And then you do have a spot here in the corner of the bedroom. If you wanted to add an extra TV, you can do so with your hookups there. And there we go, the all new 231 FKKSC by Sportsman. Any questions, comments, call me today, 616-965-9623.